Today I'm gonna show you how to animate the Twitter logo. I'm calling this series Animating Famous Logos. Okay, we are now inside of After Effects, so let's go ahead and make a new composition. Uh, I'm gonna call it Twitter Logo Animation and I'm gonna give maybe like 1080 by 1080 square pixel frame rate 60 everything else looks okay maybe 15 seconds and uh, click OK okay let's uh, switch the transparency off and I'm gonna quickly drag and drop the Twitter logo into After Effects and I'm gonna select maybe like footage is fine I guess let's click OK let's drag and drop to the timeline if you want to download the vector file of the twitter logo that i'm using um, i downloaded it from the brand toolkit from the twitter official website so i'll leave a link in the description okay so let's right click the layer and go to create and go to create shapes from a vector layer and we're gonna delete the illustrator file and we're gonna work with the shape layer okay so now i'm gonna go down here and i'm gonna delete this circle layer but before deleting that i'm gonna pick the color copy click ok and then delete it because we need the color for that okay so i'm gonna make a copy of this Control d copy and I'm gonna rename these to this is gonna be the wing and this is gonna be the body okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and uh, I'm gonna delete this area and just uh, keep the wing part of uh, the logo so I'm gonna pick the pen tool and let's just delete these anchor points let's hide the body for now delete okay and we're gonna um, adjust these anchor points just like that delete um, yeah delete 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 okay okay this is the wing Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the body layer. This time I'm gonna hide the wing and uh, let's go down here. Go to the group and uh, yeah, let's delete these anchor points. And we're gonna adjust these handles, something like that. Now all we have to do is take the pen behind tool and put the anchor points somewhere around at the center of the gravity and I'm gonna put the um, anchor point right around here. Um, this is gonna be the point where um, the rotation of the wing will be happening. Okay, let's parent the wing to the body because the wing should move with the body so now all we have to do is take the rotation I'm gonna press the R key on the keyboard and let's move the time indicator um, to the first second and make an anchor point and we're gonna move the time indicator again and we're gonna uh, click and drag here so that it moves anti-clockwise yeah and we're gonna move the time indicator again and we're gonna do the opposite of that and then again repeat the steps We can adjust uh, the time timing uh, of these keyframes later.
and then we can just give zero okay let's have a look okay it's pretty janky but uh, we can work with this okay now let's go ahead and um, animate the body so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing let's take the position keyframe this time and uh, yeah I'm gonna move the keyframe that I just made and uh, I'm gonna move it down like right about here okay and then I'm gonna maybe like curve the path the movement path of the um, the body okay looks good I want this to go up and then come down and settle to do that we have to move this keyframe a little further and we're gonna have to copy this copy ctrl C and paste and then we have to move this up just a tiny bit like that let's play it okay now all we have to do is smoothen the animations let's go ahead and select all the keyframes and press f9 or just right click here and keyframe assistant easy ease okay now let's go ahead and watch this let's try and uh, smoothen out the body uh, movement first of all so so there are some unwanted movement happening what you can do is you can go to the keyframe you can move the time indicator to the keyframe and you can take the pen tool uh, press the alt key and click once and it will cut off that unwanted movement so here we can see that it's this is the point it should settle but it's going down so what we have to do is we have to click this anchor point right here by pressing alt key alt key and left click okay so I think now it's fixed so now this will come up and down now what we can do is we can select all the keyframes and we can go to the graph editor and we can take the selection tool and we can select this anchor point and we can do something like this so that it sort of uh, goes up and then slowly comes down okay okay looks nice now all we have to do is extend the animation a bit okay cool oh nice okay so what now what we have to do is we can now fix the wing animation so I'm gonna make it maybe maybe it will come up um, let's move all the keyframes to the right side maybe it will come up with the wings pointing downwards like so and then and then it will come up and the animation will be very very fast here okay so I want the wing to point upward when it comes when the body comes down and settles so that it slowly settles down like a like a real bird to do that I'm gonna adjust this keyframe and give a pointing up keyframe right around here and I'm gonna adjust the end keyframe like so okay looks good I guess right okay it's settling down a bit faster 
So I'm gonna extend the anchor point. Let's have a look. Okay, we can make overall all the whole animation faster by selecting all the keyframes and out click and select the keyframe that is on the right side of the timeline and just making it shorter just like that let's play it okay Okay, now what we can do is we can give some rotation keyframes to the body. Hit the R key on the keyboard and make a keyframe by pressing this stopwatch. And we're gonna make another keyframe around here. I'm just deciding the, uh, the points where the keyframes would fall. We can make changes to the, to the keyframes later. Okay, I think four keyframes would be enough. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna rotate this like so so it's like coming up like that and then maybe like it will settle down okay let's delete this keyframe maybe let's make all the keyframes smooth easy easy displayed okay at this point um you can call this animation finished uh if you want um but i'm thinking if i could um animate the actual uh the actual shape of uh, the animation the wing and the tails I think it would look even better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide position and rotation keyframes I'm gonna hit EU and I'm gonna go down here and go to content group path and I'm gonna make some keyframes on the path let's select the body so what I want the animation to look like is the tail of the bird should point downwards so make a path keyframe let's keep the original the actual uh the end result keyframe right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take the pen tool and click the layer and make some adjustments like so I'm gonna do the same thing with the wings as well I'm gonna fast forward this part So let's see the final result. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, salam.